So then, James, uh, I was reading a, a fishing article the other week and it was talking about feeder fishing. And I was wondering if you could uh, enlighten me on the subject, mate. Yeah, sure, Andy. I mean, feeder fishing is a massive topic. There's a variety of different styles of feeders that you can use. I think what we'll do today is we'll narrow it down to the method feeder. This is an absolutely devastating option fishing on lakes such as this when you want to target some bigger fish like carp. So I think I'll take you through rigging up um, a basic method feeder. Okay, brilliant. First thing to think about is whether we're going to use an inline feeder such as this one or a fixed feeder such as this one. The fixed feeder has got the hook length attached to a length of elastic to help cushion the lunges of the fish when you're playing it. And the other advantage of having a fixed feeder is it's effectively a bolt rig. So the fish will hook itself against the weight of the feeder. However, a lot of fisheries such as this one, this particular style of feeder is, it's banned, it's not allowed. Why is that, James? Well, it's to do with the problem of if you lose a fish, uh, say the main line breaks and then the carp is um, stuck with the feeder basically. So some venues such as this, like I mentioned, you have to use an inline feeder. So I think that's what we'd better use today. Okay. So I've got some six pound sensation feeder here and all I'm going to do is thread the method feeder onto the line. That's where the inline bit comes from. So I'll put the sleeve on first and then we'll thread the feeder on. There we go. So you've got the line and the feeder running on the main line, yeah? And then these feeders come with a very neat adapter. And all you have to do is tie a loop in the bottom of your main line. Like so. And then loop the connector on one side. Right, how simple is that? And these feeders are quite clever. Even though they're in line and the feeder can run up, there is some tension on that connector. So you still have got an effective bolt rig. So that's the thing with the method. It's not like many other styles of fishing where you have to strike at a bite. The fish are actually hooking themselves. Ah, right, okay. So we've got the main part of the feeder set up. Now all we need to do is add the hook length. And I've taken a size 14 carp feeder hook with the, a hair already incorporated into the hook length. And I've cut that hook length down to around about, what, 15 centimetres? Yeah, something like that. Because that's the other key consideration you need to think about when you're fishing the method, is you want to use a short hook length. So what you're actually going to do is bait your hook and then with ground bait on the feeder, disguise your hook bait in with the ground bait on the feeder. So the carp is just coming in, eating the ground bait, eating your hook bait in one quick go. It's such an efficient and such an easy way of fishing, but one that's so devastating. So that's the actual fundamentals of the rig, Andy. Okay. I guess we better mix up some ground bait and then we'll give it a go. Brilliant, let's do it. I'm hooked on fishing. <laughs> 